so we got meal one here. It is the chocolate coconut pancakes. Now let me tell you, this is just misleading. Because if you look at the picture right here, it, it's just so misleading. But I didn't use coconut or coconut oil because I hate it. I hate coconuts, so there are azido rules in this kitchen. We didn't use that, and I made 1.5 times the batch because I'm just hungry. Macros for the original recipe will be on the screen right now. And then the calories for this batch, which is 1.5, and no coconut, no coconut oil, and crap, I use Pam, 595 calories for all this. So I would suggest not using coconut oil because it's just a waste. Use the spray. We got here our trusted little syrup. Right here. Okay, love me syrup. As you can see. Let's give this a taste, shall we? Three, two, one. It's good. Really good. The banana is a little bit overpowering, but that's probably my fault for not using coconut. So if you like coconut, put coconut. But I love banana. So, chocolate banana. I used the peanut butter protein powder. And nine, eh. 8.5 out of 10, I'll eat this. And I'll let you guys know how full I am. I tell a nigga, don't f***ing ride, don't blick ride, leave it to the double thick. Well, you have to buy his cookbook. I'm a freaking cookbook. For you to know. Because I'm not going to tell you the recipe. Because otherwise you're not going to buy his cookbook. Because this, look how good this looks. Doesn't this just look amazing? Yeah, it doesn't look good, but it tastes freaking amazing. Well, you, you're just going to have to buy it for yourself and see. This is one out of the 150 recipes in the cookbook 2.0. Keep in mind, this is all three cookbooks. This is freaking so many recipes, 300 recipes, let's just say. You don't have to buy all three cookbooks, that's just insane. Just like Greg, so I gotta support him. Buy the cookbook 2.0 and the Power 13 cookbook. And you might be like, oh, it's 200 dollars! Well, the recipes are gonna change your life and make it so you don't look like a walrus. So get with that as you will. Buy his freaking cookbooks. Assalamu lama, aya hakam, you big hater, you nothing but a hater. Hate a cloud chaser. Everyone says I'm a cloud chaser. Now we catch him at the chicken spot. Up a couple shops. Hit the hundred shots. Ra ta 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 ta. Via made a dead the diggy pop. Cha 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 cha. Last lick, worst lick. Oh, fullness factor. I'm pretty satisfied. Not stuffed, but I am just extremely hungry all the time. I'm eating 3,000 calories right now. And you might be like, oh, no way. 2,800 is my maintenance. 2,800. That is absurd. So, I'm never full of anything. So this, to make me full, it's pretty good. For the average person, you would probably be stuffed. You would need three-fourths of a batch. And you would just be perfect. And if you made it the way I did, without the coconuts and coconut oil, it would be like 300 calories or so. So, you can just see how easy it is to diet. You are not going to be hungry if you eat this kind of stuff. That's this good as well. I have three cheat meals a year. Three. If I wanted more, could I have more? Yes. I do not want them. I do not need them. I do. I, I love my diet. So this is the key. You need to love what you eat. If you love what you eat, you do not need to cheat. So, fullness, nine. Eight. Let's give it an eight on fullness. So for the average person, it'd probably be 14, just stuffed out of their mind, want to go lay down and never get up again. You are going to be full on this diet, 100%. You might be wondering why the carbs are blocked out in the macros. Because the carbs doesn't matter. <laughs> we don't even speak of carbs in the anabolic kitchen. So I just decided not to list the carbs. You're not fat from eating too much carbs. It's not carbs in, carbs out. You're fat because you eat too much. Calories, not the car. This just grinds my freaking gears when people say, you eat too many, I eat like 
400 grams of carbs a day. And people will say, carbs make you fat. No, they don't. You're fat because you eat too much. Simple as that. Meal two, snack two, call it what you want. It's been about four hours later. We're gonna call it a meal. So meal two, we got a score protein bar. I just grabbed one out of the freezer. Put some score bits on it. Because I didn't put it on before. Ready set video without a bag of popcorn. So we're gonna have a bag of popcorn too. The score bar is 235 calories. And it looks small, doesn't it? That's what she said. But it's super girthy. That's also what she said. It's 100 grams. Usually, a protein bar is about 60. So it's about double the size for one and a half times the calories. But when you break it down, it's like half. So it's going to fill me up. Got popcorn with it. I'm going to keep going. Trading socks. We got that. We got school. And it's gonna give me energy until the next meal. Official taste test of the score bar. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's get some of the score bits. Ten out of ten. Best protein bar I've ever tasted. No, I mean, I'm not gonna BS you. I've had these before. It takes a while to chew, so you'll be more full. Because your body takes while to know that you're full this is amazing you haven't tried this or try the score bars i, I can eat regular food. i like quest bars but this just knocks it out of the park it's insane uh, the protein bar by itself will keep you satiated but maybe for it's not supposed to keep you super full like a meal so the protein bar might keep you satiated for two hours or so which is great if it's just a snack here's my food the protein bar was pretty filling and then with the popcorn on top it's just an amazing meal. So if you're not on an extreme deficit, I would suggest having the protein bar with the popcorn, and you will be a lot more satiated. Insanely good. Give it a try. So it's 3.30 right now. It's been about three and a half, four hours since my last meal, and I'm getting hungry. So this is what we're having. Look at that deliciousness. It's a pizza bread by Exercise for Cheat Meals. I'm going to put the calories and macros on the screen right now for the original recipe. Now, I took an L. That, that's a new word for you, Greg. Took an L with all the mod words. Anyways, I took an L because they didn't have 35 calorie bread at my store. No low calorie bread because they were out. Because short supply chain. Because the C word. Parmesan cheese either or fat favorite ricotta cheese. Yes. So I just used that cook it grams of fat-free cheddar. Oh, I have to bleep that out how much I used. That cook grams it Grams of, what's that cheese called? Mozzarella, fat-free. Because I didn't have ricotta. Or Parmesan. So I just substituted it. There are zero to rules in this kitchen. Meal are 765 calories because we're using this bread, which has 70 calories a slice. I wish I had pickles. For Allie, for a pickle pizza. Because I would definitely put pickles on here. So this is the meal. We're going to give it a little taste test. You ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, there's a spot. This is amazing. This is what it looks like. I'm having all four. But this is just phenomenal. It's got to be the best thing from his cookbook. I've tried a lot of recipes. Greg, exercise for cheap. You guys outdid yourself for this one. It's freaking 9.5 out of 10. 9.5 out of freaking 10. So 95 is amazing. So that means if you went to Paris, not Paris, if you went to your local city and you had to make this pizza, this pizza right there. It's 95% is good. All you need is 80% is good. Because if it gives me as full as it tastes, it's just gonna be amazing. I don't know how you can cheat on this diet. We're having this meal with Diet Pop. It's amazing. You're not getting cancer, people. Look at this. Look at this. How are you cheating on your diet? You do not need them. If you want to go socialize with your family, 
being friends, which I don't agree with socializing over food, but I get it. You're fat, and our society's fat. So just go socialize maybe every once in a while. But you do not need to cheat for the sake of needing to cheat for food when you are eating this. It's amazing. Freaking amazing. I tell a nigga don't f**k ride, don't blick ride, leave it to the double thick thighs, twin sisters, drop it down and wobble wobble. Up, mommy booty up. Assalamu alama, I a hakam, you big hater, you nothing but a hater, hater clout chaser. Everyone says I'm a clout chaser. Now I can start doing, I can start doing the uh, Gooba song. Now we catch him at the chicken spot, up a couple shops, pop that at the hundred shots. It's my food. I am satisfied, extremely satisfied. A, tastes freaking amazing. B, I am full. C, my doctor made it. He prescribed me this. He said, "Lo, look, yeah." He's also my rapper. Yo, yo, you're gonna eat that pizza bread. You know what I'm saying, cuz? And I said, "Yeah." I'll try it out. That didn't actually happen. It happened in my head, though. And, and it, it, it was freaking amazing. I am full. And if I use low calorie bread, it'd be even lower calories. So if you're on a calorie deficit, try this out. So I'm making a hot hamburgs. And Greg, do you really think it's necessary for this much gravy? Oh, do you think you're done? No. Not yet. Almost done. Oh, nope. Really? I I'm gonna trust you, man. I'm gonna trust you. All the recipes have been good so far. I just think that this amount of gravy is absurd. But hey, you ain't no chef nor a doctor. So, it might be good. Like, who would have thought of putting bread in a blender? Only you. So I trust you. This is what we're dealing with here. We got a lot of ketchup. A lot of gravy. It's hot. We'll be right back. Hey, Greg. This is unnecessary. <laughs> Am I supposed to, like, scoop it up, at, like, as I eat and put it on the other side? Because as far as I read, I could be wrong. You put it on one side. See, this is how you should improve this one recipe. You take the gravy and you put it in half. And then you evenly spread it to both sides. So then I don't have this problem. Because now it's going in my ketchup. I have turkey ketchup. Just like, uh, maybe just like put a little put a little bit on both sides, you know? You see what I mean, Greg? Now look at it. I spread it to two sides. It looks a lot better. I don't care at all. I give a zero craps. So, we're going to review this, see how it tastes, because that's all that matters. First bite, best bite. It's a girthy pizza, pizza sandwich. Three, two, one. All apart. Watch soccer. Okay, so I suggest you have a napkin because this isn't the cleanest, cleanest little situation going on. So we gotta scoop that back up on the sandwich, and now we should have it all. <laughs> In my opinion, just too much. I don't even know what this is supposed to taste like. If it tastes like a hamburger, this sucks. Utterly terrible. But. If it's supposed to be like some creation that I just don't like, then I just don't like it. I mean, this sucks. So I just finished training, and I trained a chest and back today. Very hard session, wind tail filler on every set. Now, my deadlifts went up 80 pounds in two months. Greg, Natty or not? So we're eating some proteinsicles. This is a fairly large bowl, as you can see. This entire bowl has 300 calories just over, and I think that's over 40% protein. It's a lot. Look at these. All right, we're going to do an official taste test. Chocolate, peanut butter, strawberry proteinsicles. Be exact. Three, two, one. Amazing. He's like a strawberry 
Rolo that's frozen. Absolutely incredible. I'm going to have to buy the book for yourself to see because they're just top of the notch amazing. $149. And Greg, you should change that to 147 because it sounds cheaper. But $149 for the best recipes that will change your life and make it so you don't look like a ball. That's a dang good deal. If I can say so myself. I'm finished eating these. Roll the outro. Now we catch him at the chicken spot. Up a couple shops. Pop that the hundred shots. Ra-ta-ta-ta-ta. Via made a dead. Diggy pop. Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha.